Welcome back to the Tiger Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Walmart Retro G.I. Joe Classified line, which is just reissues the figures we already have, but slightly different paint apps, but new card back and packaging. I'm going to tell you why this is going to be the most impossible line to collect. And again, another fail in the long line of classified fails as excited as I was for this because this is finally giving us closer to what I want in the G.I. Joe Classified line. It has a ton of problems from day one of shipping. Shipping is an issue, packaging issue, uh, availability issue, lots of questions for this. But I'm going to do a little bit of comparison of these. I'm not taking about the package because these are my first ones that are, hey, they're supposed to stay in the package for me. And then the second ones I get that are in the worst pack, believe it or not, I was going to open and review that way. But this is too frustrating to just wait. So I'm going to talk about this now. Coming up. So when this retro line was first revealed, it was touted as a more real American hero look and design and card back and all that kind of stuff. And it was exciting that this stuff is coming out. So I was pretty excited overall that we were going to get these in retro style. In the card backs, of course, I don't like the extra large bubble, but the artwork looks okay. The artwork looks pretty good overall and all that works really well. But the biggest problem, and I, I should have seen this coming, was the shipping. So if you're looking at this line, collecting this line, you have to admit, even if you're going to open them, the packaging is 50% of the enticement to this. If they just put it in the same exact packaging, just slight different paint apps, that wouldn't have been as much fun. This is way more fun. So the packaging, and a lot of people wanted to keep these sealed because they already have an opened first version, so let's keep these sealed. So this was shipped in a bubble mailer. Now, I, I don't understand, like, are they, they taking the pe same people that is going to put a dog treat in a box decides to put something as delicate as this into a mailer and you get the crushed bubble and i i actually thought hey look the card is good it, it, it's okay it's it's gonna it's gonna work no it's got a dent on the, i can probably fiddle with this and make it look halfway decent but at the end of the day i can't do anything about this crushed bubble now i can order another one of these online and then when it comes in return this one I mean, there's a lot of frustration to that, but this is the only one that is still available to order right now. I, I don't know about the Baroness. I didn't check her, but she's out of stock, and we'll talk about Storm Shadow here in a little bit. Now, she came in a bubble mailer also, and actually, when I first opened her, I was, like, disgusted. I've spent some time trying to flatten this out and make it look a little bit better, and if you don't watch my channel, I, I have kept every bit of packaging since the 90s. I'm actually going to start throwing away packaging of that I consider redundant and worthless, uh, tossing it out, but uh, for the first time ever, pretty soon, because I'm running out of space. But I want to say that uh, I will, I, this is something I would definitely have kept on the package. And uh, my plan was, of course, to buy this one, keep it perfect, get it mailed perfect in a box or something, and then find one in the store. Maybe it's going to have a little bit of shelf for it, but that, that would be the one that I would open. So uh, as an in-package collector, for the most part, for new stuff, uh, this is very frustrating to me. So it makes it impossible to collect. So why is this impossible? Well, she sold out online, and every, every zip code in the United States says they're not available in stores. Now, I don't know if that's going to change and they will become available in stores or not, because no one's been clear on that. That's not transparent very well. So as, as it stands right now, they're sold out online. And the only way to get one is, well, you get a scalper that got lucky or something. But, man, this sucks. And I didn't order two of her because there are, there's a plague of these on the shelves. I figured that she would be one that they might mark down as a sell later. But I was sure wrong. Now, with Destro, the reason I didn't order another Destro, it's impossible to collect this line. This is an impossible line to collect and keep mint and package. is because I bet that the same place that shipped this would ship the... Uh, the next Destro. So I, I don't know if it's worth my time and effort and I have to find something else to order to get the free shipping because uh, it's only 25 Well, only 25 you're looking at $100 worth of stuff for four figures. That 109 after tax, that's still quite a bit of money for four figures that we already have. Now, Baroness arrived in a box. Not only did Baroness arrive in the box, but I ordered two Baroness and uh, I've got two Gung Ho's on the way. They both arrived in separate boxes, ginormous box, separate boxes with some bubbles in there. So that's crazy that she got that extra special treatment for whatever reason. They both got extra special treatment. They both still have damage. Getting that box out of the way, I can't fathom that you could get a better shipment than the way these were shipped. These were shipped, in, in my opinion, 
the absolute best you can ship these, but they barely fit in the box. So I think you did kind of have to cram it into the box. So here we are, damage right here. It's all pushed in. And then there's damage over here. That's messed up. So, okay, one down, that's the opener, right? Well, let's see. This one here has a giant crease up top here and a ding over there which this is the closest to a perfect one that I'm going to find. So uh, this one's the one I'll try to keep sealed and then I'll just kind of rub on that, I guess. Maybe put some heat on it. I don't know. Uh, try to fix that little crease that's messed up there. But this is as close as we're going to get to perfection. Now, I don't know if these are going to hit stores or not, but my goal here was to get two of these Baroness, one to open because I didn't want to open the very valuable, expensive coil cycle one that I actually paid $100 for my second one I was going to open. I never had the guts to open it, but anyhow very frustrating she was frustrating from the get-go even finding her in target she was frustrating finding a second one to open and this is a little less frustrating i guess she actually got a decent box but my gung hos aren't in yet so what's going to happen with gung ho like i don't know are they going to ship two gung hos in two boxes i have two on the way on the same order so i can't imagine they'd put it in a shipper envelope but again i don't know i would i would have never imagined putting one in a shipper envelope let alone uh, two in a ship. I, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Double crushed. I really don't know. It's very frustrating. So right now you go to Walmart. I think the Zartan's still available to order, but the Storm Shadow's not. So here's the thing. I was trying to keep up with all the SDCC stuff and I never found out. No one anywhere on any of the YouTube or the Facebooks that I was looking at uh, was talking about pre-orders at Walmart for Storm Shadow. Now, I do want to say that this uh, Storm Shadow actually does look better than the first version the first version looks great the retro version looks even better and at the end of the day i still think super seven wins but it's just too tall to mix they're gonna be too tall to mix with your classifieds but i hope the difference isn't that much but still i may never get this storm shadow of course i'm not gonna pay what 50 60 70 bucks on ebay for a 27 dollar figure so with that uh i'm a little frustrated hopefully they show up in stores but chances are they're not all right, quick comparison of Baroness 2. This is the most recent Walmart retro that died. It had three small, very, very small waves of three figures and ended. And then this is what we got from Super 7. Now, say what you want about Super 7. Much thicker, uh, sturdier cardstock. I almost never see any issues with Super 7 stuff at the store. None of the shipping had issues. They all showed up in perfect condition. So, that's great. These... They take taking them straight out of the box. They already have damage coming straight out of the box. Every every one of them has some sort of slight curve to it. Maybe the curve just because of the heat as it's traveling on that thin cardboard. I don't know. But they did kind of copy this design, but they didn't copy it exact. So it's a big bubble, and then of course it's different stuff. Like this is crammed full of unnecessary junk. It wasn't retro like we wanted, like her with a backpack and a gun. And a small bubble was what we wanted. We got all this junk that we're never going to use because it's going to stay in the bubble forever. So that's nice. Not uh, over here. We got a little bit more stuff. I mean, it's, I guess, I guess it's cool. But I would have just preferred her and a backpack and her gun. Just, you know, exactly like we had with the vintage line. But I'm a, I'm more of a vintage collector. I got to say I class myself like 75 vintage and 25 modern uh, percentage wise. And so that's me. Here's how she compares to the $100. I paid $100 for this stupid thing. And I think that they had Dorkside Toys was selling them for $25. I didn't even bother buying yet another one for $25 to, like, in my mind, offset the price. I just was so... I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated with a lot of things with this classified line. I'm hoping the future's better. Although, I mean, we keep hoping the future's better. And then we're sitting here right now with a giant classified problem. But uh, I classify this as a major problem. But... She looks different. She's uh, got some different paint apps. She's more like unified color and there's more color breakup in this one here, this one. Some people could say this looks more interesting. I think she'll look good when she gets her glasses on. I mean, overall, this is a nice looking figure and she will probably be the one I open and put in my collection. Although I guess they're giving her away like for a quarter now. So I paid a hundred bucks for a $25 figure now. Next up, I do want to show Lady J. This is the retro Walmart first version, which Eh, it's okay, but I mean, I don't think they did a great job on her, to tell you the truth. I think that this figure had its issues, but this is a much improved version from the first version. They improved the head. Uh, the weapons accessories, I think, are really cool because they're so retro looking. And so now I would like to have more of her, a second one of her. I guess I'll never get a second one of her unless they come out in the store or they come back up online. 
And this is what Super 7 did, which is, it's a bit of a different take, but it probably looks more cartoon accurate than anything we're going to get from Hasbro. So that's cool too, overall. So looking at all of this, nice looking figure, Super 7, I mean, I understand why they, the, these $18 reaction figures are popular. People buy them. They were flying off the shelves for a while there. So we on Lady J, as you can see, she's a much brighter color. She's much brighter than the original one, and she has more... Uh, gear, different gear actually than the original. So as you can see, the backpack's different. And um, is that spear the same? That spear might be the same. And then she's got different uh, weapons, accessories, and that kind of stuff like that. So that's pretty cool too. Overall, the face sculpt, it's just like a better looking face uh, paint. The paint on the face is a lot better. So that works out pretty good. So a nice looking figure overall. Uh, the first one wasn't bad. Really the first one, the, just the weird head thing going on. The hat is the best, I think, for the first version. But the second version, I think, does improve on that. I'm still happy with displaying this one if I don't get a second one of these, or hopefully one of these that's not all mangled up, but that would be great. Still overall, this is the better figure. Next up, I do wanna do the Destro here. I wanna point out something too. I am propping this up next to something fell i'm propping this up on this little block of wood here so that it doesn't fall these don't have the little stands like you see with this and i guess these all have stands but they don't really have stands they just go that far down anyhow super seven over here looking super cartoon i love the way this looks and this one looking more tuned the first version was actually the first one was still very good so i i don't have much negative to say about the first and then this is the Walmart version that they had going on. And my son always jokes when he says something kind of sucks. He's like, that's the Walmart version of that. So the Walmart version of a retro collection. So looking at this, that was, that was okay. This one, look, look at that face. It just, it should have been shinier. I don't know. The face probably is not that great. So this looks pretty decent, like as a figure. So let's compare it to the first classified one. So I want to admit that the uh, classified, the first version was a good version of Destro overall uh, and had a pretty good head sculpt. Now, this is the circle on the head variant and this one, I don't think he has a circle on his head. So maybe circle on head variant is going to be hard to find down the road. I don't know. So this one here does not have the circle. So that's great. Uh, we noticed that a few differences. We have eyebrows on this guy and let's let's get this in just a little bit closer here eyebrows on this guy we have a fully red color as to where there's black back here and then red on the inside and then going down just a little bit more we notice that this is painted black on the front where this one is red and we can keep going down a little bit more and just subtle differences down below weapons and accessories uh look a little bit different hands are silver on this one versus black on that one just slight subtle differences that i still think this is the better version I do think this one's the better version. I like the retro one so much more, but that's my preference. And I knew I would. So yeah, I guess I'll just order another one of these guys. Maybe my second one will show up without this nonsense in it, or it'll just be impossible to be a mint box collector with this. I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Very frustrating. Oh, also, look at that. This has a paint app. So you want to do like a mixture. You want to open one of these, and you want to take your first version and have this as your your case because this case does not have that on it and I, I believe on the inside no they get you good two ways because on the inside that like fake looking money looks like real money on the other one really does kind of suck the way they give you one better app and then the other the, the next app just kind of sucks so at the end of the day i'm losing my excitement for this line because i don't feel like i can get any of these in good enough condition to feel good about it i do not feel good about this at all and uh, yeah I can open a couple and yeah it's okay but when you're paying the very top dollar and I'm used to getting loose figures loose classified for five to ten dollars on groups or in a local toy shop or something I got one as cheap as three dollars so uh, w when I open it I feel like I've devalued the figure down to like five dollars so that's a problem for me usually I can catch one wait six months and someone will sell one for cheap so uh, that's just the way I always look at this kind of stuff so I don't like to open it and this with the packaging is half of the fun in the retro series too so it's very frustrating now, i gotta tell you at, after this experience i'm looking more 
towards Super 7. I'm more excited for Super, Super 7 now. That's like the G.I. Joe excitement, the, the ultimate excitement to me is coming from Super 7. Classified stuff's kind of cool and I look forward to several figures, but it's just one more debacle after another, after another, after another. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe to your finger out.